Hey guys, I want to show you um, a really good website that I use to get a lot of my research from for hair loss. As you can see, it's hairlossresearch.org. And this is the website right here. Here they got a thing on the side. Um, the guy that put this, or made this website, he's got his whole protocol on here, things that he takes. And he's actually had significant results with using this. He still has pretty much a full head of hair. When he was younger, he noticed his hair, you know, was um, falling out, receding. So he got on, you know, different natural things, and it's really helped to slow that down. That's why I've said, you know, it's definitely possible to slow slow your baldness down, you know, and to help re-encourage growth of your hair. So these are just, you know, some of the things that he takes. But the cool thing I like about this website is if you go to Update News, you can see here all the different articles that they have, natural things and studies that have been done showing how you can uh, slow down hair loss, baldness, and help to regrow your hair. So yeah, as you can see, there's all kinds of good things in here. And I don't, I wanted to show everybody this because, I mean, definitely take advantage of this, guys. Um, this is where I've learned a lot of this information um, myself. Um, the only like some things though that I don't agree with, like um, shampoos for hair loss. He talks about Revita, but I don't like this because it still does have a lot of crap in it. And um, I'm gonna make a video showing you guys um, the shampoo and conditioner that I like. But I don't really um, like these different shampoos and stuff. I mean, they might help to attack DHT, which I'm sure they do. But I just try to, you know, stick with the herbal, natural um, products out there. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah. There's all kinds of, you know, good stuff on here. Like here, topical emu oil and coconut oil for hair loss. A potent combination. And, um... You got a lot of good information here, like why virgin coconut oil, and it talks about how um, coconut oil also down-regulates the production of DHT, which is a major player in male pattern baldness and acne. As you likely already know, testosterone is converted into DHT by the enzyme 5-alpha reductase. DHT increases sebum. He mentioned creating a conducive environment for propion bacterium, thus inflammation to proliferate. It is established that the activity of the 5-alpha reductase enzyme is significantly more elevated in areas prone to acne and androgenic alopecia. Several studies have conclusively shown that lauric acid reduces 5-alpha reductase activity and inhibits the conversion of testosterone into DHT. Another concluded that lauric acid inhibited the activity of 5-alpha reductase by 50%. One study in particular found that consumption of co coconut oil in rats, like finasteride and salt palmetto, reduced in large prostate glands that had been experimentally enlarged with androgen administration. So, I mean, as you can see, it, it, it's really good stuff. We're all of really good information in here. They say um, it would be prudent to consume two to three tablespoons of virgin coconut oil a day, which in addition to myriad health benefits, not the least of which are thyroid regulation and body fat reduction, inhibits DHT. Virgin coconut oil is available at any health food store. You know, and I take coconut oil um, every day. I take like four or five tablespoons of it every day. But yeah, you know, again, there's um, all kinds of articles on here of how you can inhibit DHT. One particular one that I really like is... Let me find it. Hair loss treatment in tough economic times. See, if you have male pattern baldness, things can get pretty expensive, you know? If you have to buy a lot of these different vitamins and stuff, 
and not everybody can afford that. So like, here are some really simple things that are really effective to help slow down male pattern baldness. You can take oral cayenne pepper. Like Propecia, orally consumed cayenne pepper upregulates follicle IGF-1 and acts as a substance P, which is a neuropeptide that mediates systemic and local stress response. Antagonist, combined with soy isoflavins, it grew hair in 88% of subjects with androgenic alopecia. Cayenne pepper, also known as ground red pepper, is available at any supermarket. The fifth season brand from Walmart costs only 50 cents a bottle. The amount of capsicum used in the Harada study amount to approximately three-fourths teaspoon of cayenne pepper a day. So that's one thing you can do. Um, if you don't like taking it straight with this, you know, as a spice, you can buy cayenne pepper um, capsules from like Now Foods on Iyer for really cheap, and you get a lot of them. I actually do that. Um, you can take ground flax meal. Flax ligands function as um, enterlactone precursors, which downregulate both DHT and androstadonium. Andro I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Via 5 alpha reductase and 17 BHSD. Not sure what that is, but they both significant. But they're both significant hormonal factors in pattern hair loss. One rather loosely controlled study showed a benefit of the oral consumption of a flax ligand extract on pattern loss. Three tablespoons a day of ground flax meal will provide a rich source of enterolactone precursors and benefit your health in myriad other ways. Flax seeds can be purchased and bought from any large health food store and can be easily ground in any blender. And I buy ground flax meal and I like to add it to my oatmeal in the morning. Again, we got the coconut oil and uh, coconut oil consumption has anti-androgenic properties and was shown by itself to shrink prostates and rats when implemented in their diets. The human coconut oil consumption equivalent would be about two tablespoons a day for about a 150 pound person. And of course you can find that, you know, in your stores. Um, the two things though I don't recommend are Lodos Proscar and Israel Shampoo because like I said I like to use natural things so I, I wouldn't even bother with these things um, and then of course you got emu oil which there's been a lot of studies showing the emu oil is effective um, so yeah this website is pretty awesome like I was saying and um, you know there's all kinds of different things on here MSM diet inflammation and hair loss um, it talks about different uh, prostaglandins and they're we have different prostaglandins and they're kinda like messengers well the bad prostaglandins are prostaglandin E2 because that's pro-inflammatory and then there's some good pro anti-inflammatory prostaglandins such as E1 and E3 E1 you can usually get from the omega-3 fats found in fish oils and they actually help to suppress prostaglandins E2, which are the bad ones, and they help to encourage prostaglandin E1. And then there's other ones like GLA, which helps to um, increase production of the anti-inflammatory prostaglandin E1. So those are just some simple things, you know, that you can try out or read about. Of course, here's some specific foods they tell you to avoid, margarine, organ meats, yolk yolks. Because a lot of these foods uh, are bad fats, sugar can cause inflammation. The reason I believe they put egg yolks in here is because of the arachidonic acid, which is a precursor to both prostaglandin E2 and the pro-inflammatory cytokine leu leukotriene B4. So that's why they put egg yolks in there. Because you don't want to have like a lot of arachidonic acid, because then it will just you know it's just a precursor to prostaglandin E2, which is can cause inflammation. You know, in, in male pattern baldness, there's usually a lot of inflammation. Same thing with acne. So you want to, you know, cut out the inflammation. You want to eat things that are anti-inflammatory. So, like, good foods are salmon, oatmeal, olives and olive oil, almonds, fresh fruits and vegetables, avocado and guacamole, flax oil, flax meal. You know, and, of course, coconut oil is in there as well. Um, 